Hi guys, happy Thursday and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So we are outside of the Publix this morning, about to head in here and check out some deals. So we have a few good deals this week, not a ton, a ton going on, but definitely some good freebies and moneymaker deals. So we're gonna head in here. I'm gonna walk you through these deals in the store. And of course I will have a printable list below the video. So you can print that out, take it to the store with you. It's gonna help make your shopping trip super easy. Also, I am working on an Ibotta bonus right now. I believe it's $4. It's one of those rewards choice bonuses. And mine was for 13 offers, something like that, I think. And I only need about four more. So definitely hoping to complete that while I'm in here. As of right now, it's not 9 a.m. yet as the time I'm recording. It is once you see it. But um, I will definitely check and see if I get any kind of weekend warrior bonus or anything. And then maybe I can work towards that as well so we'll see let me know in the comments below if you are working on any bonuses so we're gonna go ahead in the store check out the deals and if you are completely new to my channel welcome thank you so much for being here and if you enjoy the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as hit that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones so let's go ahead and check out these deals All right, guys, so I should have come when the sale started yesterday. I was going to, but then I waited. So the Splenda Stevia Liquid, buy one, get one free at $3.99. We have these $2 coupons from our 516 save insert. So guys, two of these is $3.99. Use two of those $2 coupons. They're gonna be completely free. Then you're gonna submit to Ibotta for $2 back on each one. So for every two you buy, that's like a $4 money maker right there. So the Ibotta rebate is a limit of five, so you can get $2 five times. So that could be $10 you could get back, especially if you're using those coupons on each one you buy. So another couple of the Splenda uh, freebies here. We've got this one. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but they're $9.79. Use two of these $3 coupons from the 516 save. You're going to pay $3.79 in the store, but get $2 back on each on Ibotta. So it makes them free and a 21 cent money maker. Now we have another one up here. It's the same exact deal you would do on this one. This one's the Monk Fruit. Again, it's $9.79. Use two $3 coupons, and then you're going to pay $3.79 get four dollars back on ibotta so it makes those free and a 21 money 21 cent money maker as well so that is just a really awesome deal lots of freebies on the splenda this week so next up, we're looking at the Hellman's Mayo. These right here, they're the 15 ounce and they are $3.89. So you can see here in the extra savings booklet, we have a $2 coupon plus a $1 Hellman's coupon. If you sign up for the Hellman's emails, they'll email that to you. So that's $3 off. We're gonna pay 89 cents here in the store, get a dollar back on Ibotta, making it completely free. So another deal that I'm excited about is the Sticky Fingers barbecue sauce. These are buy one get one free at $3.19. We have $1 coupons here. These are from our 523 um, Smart Source, I believe. So these right here, we are gonna pay $1.19 for two. Let me know if you have a favorite flavor. I think I'm gonna try this Carolina Sweet, maybe the Memphis Original. So let me know which ones you think are good. Okay, so one more deal on the Splenda. These are also buy one, get one free. We have a $4 off two coupon. This is from the 516 save insert. So it's gonna make those completely free. No rebate on that one, but I almost forgot to grab it. Luckily, the mayo and the barbecue sauce are on the same aisle. So I got all of it right here. Next, we have a deal on the Mahatma rice. These are two for $3. I have a dollar rebate on this on Ibotta. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up one for $1.50. I'll get my dollar rebate, and that's gonna make the final cost just 50 cents for one bag. So I think I'm gonna try this one. Next, we have a great deal on the AccuView. So these are buy one, get one free, $10.49, and this is a 10 ounce bottle, I believe it is. So we're gonna use two $5 coupons right here. These are from the AccuView site. You can print these. I did have to print them from my laptop. So I went ahead and I printed two coupons. So that's gonna take $10 off. It's gonna make both of these just 49 cents. So that is just an awesome deal. 
Next up, the Visine. They are $4.79. Buy one, get one free. What we're going to do, if you have two $1.50 coupons from coupons.com, I believe that those are no longer available to print. But if you got those, that'll take $3 off your total using two of those. You'll pay just $1.79 for both, so that's not too bad of a deal. So next we have an all digital deal on toothpaste. So the Crest toothpaste, they're buy one get one free at $2.77. So we're gonna pick up six of these. That is gonna bring us to a total of $8.31. We do have some great digital coupons on these. We have a five off of three a three off of two and a dollar off of one so buying six you can use all three of those coupons that is going to make these completely free and a 69 cent money maker for six tubes of toothpaste so definitely a really awesome deal all right guys so next up we are looking at the skippy peanut butter these are the little pouches they're 2.99 here at my store if you go on the skippy website you can get the 75 cent off two coupon so using that that's going to have me paying 5.23 here in the store on ibotta i have a dollar rebate for each one and then i also have a 10 cent any peanut butter rebate so that'll knock out two rebates it'll make my final cost 313 for both of these Next, a little bit of a random buy, but I'm going to grab the Tasty Cake Donuts. Buy one, get one free at $2.99. Have a $0.25 cent I bought a rebate, making it $2.74 for two. So guys, if you grab the extra saving booklet at the front of the store, they have the buy $50 happy gift card and get $10 off of your grocery purchase. So the deal with this is you can go ahead, you can grab one of these gift cards. There's so many to choose from, no activation fee. So you'll just get $10 off of your purchase. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these. I think it'll work out pretty good. All right, guys, so this is everything in my cart. We're about to head to self-checkout, and I'll go over why I chose the gift card that I did and all that here in just a minute. All right, guys, so Chloe already scanned all of our items here at the self-checkout. Now we're going to do our gift card. So after you do your gift card, you're going to type in the code right here at the bottom of the happy gift card coupon if you are at the self-checkout. So I thought I was recording myself um, scanning the coupons. Luckily, Chloe told me I was not recording. <laughs> so <laughs> when I had and started recording, I'm gonna type in this store coupon again, the same thing. You just key it in like you would a fruit or vegetable. And we're gonna go ahead and scan all of our coupons and then see what our total gets down to. And I'll let you know if there's any coupon beats or any issues, anything like that. But so far, so good, so good. Everything's been scanning just fine. So you're going to hit pay and after you hit pay all your digital coupons will come off as well so that's everything including tax for me including the $50 gift card and I'm going to go ahead and pay with a Visa gift card that I earned on a previous Publix purchase so you can see here that my gift card took off $26.29 so then I'm just going to pay the rest with my PayPal debit card so we are back in the car from Publix. The transaction went great, had no issues at all. I will say when I first got to the self-checkout, um, it was a cashier different than ones that I had had before. And so she was like, oh, if you're about to use a lot of coupons, it might be easier for you to go through regular checkout because it's kind of hard to do coupons on self-checkout. And I was like, well, I was like, I do self-checkout a lot. I was like, if you don't mind, I just prefer to do self-checkout. And she was like, oh, okay because I didn't want to be like you know pushed into doing regular checkout because that's just not like what I wanted to do so um luckily I was like you know I was like hopefully I won't have any issues and I didn't have any issues at all the only thing she had to approve was just they have to approve the amount of your gift card and then when you use the ten dollar off of your grocery purchase they have to approve that coupon just because it's a large coupon of ten dollars off otherwise all my coupons scanned no issue at all so that was really awesome um I had my Publix coupon Coupons, the digitals come off at the end after you hit pay is when your digital coupons come off so it was a smooth sailing I'm really happy with my transaction so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna head home we're gonna go over the receipt and we're gonna talk final cost of all of our items also the reason I start laughing is because 
we came out to the car and we're starting to put stuff in the trunk but i was having chloe take a picture of me with my receipt outside of the public <laughs> and this guy he comes up and he's like do you want me to load up your groceries for you and i'm like oh that's okay thank you but i'm gonna be a few minutes and i didn't want to be a weirdo and be like no that's okay because i'm about to take a picture with my receipt standing in front of my cart with groceries <laughs> so, you know, so i just acted all like oh it's fine don't worry about it <laughs> But, um, Axel wanted to show you guys something and then we are going to head home. What do you want to show them? Easy. Easy You'll never guess what it is, but no peeking. No peeking. <laughs> so, so close your eyes a little bit. Listen to what I say. And, and still close your eyes when I bring it out. Okay, tell us when to open. Open back! and people Ooh, what'd you get bluebell bullets let's see here you got grape orange lime and cherry he wanted those <laughs> wait is there a can i say what oh, i yeah. thought about the box yes and chloe okay. wants to tell what she thought when she saw just a glimpse of the box before so, we got it out <laughs> so before i saw it um I thought this was Ed Sheeran for a second. <laughs> she was like, did you get popsicles with Ed Sheeran on it? And I was like, that's not Ed Sheeran. And then she was yeah. like, oh. But she was like, I literally thought that at first. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we were laughing. So oh, my God. It was funny. It. Yeah, so. There's and that. And so popsicles and with baby Ed Sheeran. <laughs> and uh, so, guys, this oh, oh, no, cool thing which I have to do. <laughs> I got a brand new tablet, have robot, angry birds, and also ABC Mouse. ABC Mouse. Yeah. And that's I got all him I got. a new tablet on the Prime Day the other day, and it's a really nice one, much upgraded from his older one. So he's so excited about it. Yeah, so my Mama old carries one. that in her purse for when we go in the store. He can use it, and then he does some ABC Mouse at home. I saw this wild crats, which yeah, and wild crats. Yeah, yeah. Did, did I just tell you to order that one? On? Well, I can I can download. It's free to download. Okay, but also like one <laughs> game which I forgot <laughs> to tell you is it's a like no wild crats game, but also it has. Yeah, and Mama's I only loaded a couple a things so far. I gotta add the other stuff. And, and has a bunch of games on it, even Wildcrats and all the Wildcrats games. And like, it, it's so much fun. Sometimes I lose, sometimes I don't. <laughs> and also, it's super fun. Yeah. And that's more. What do you normally say if you lose? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. What do you know? Say, say, ding. No, I don't say ding ding when I, when I lose. <laughs> no, tell them what you say if somebody loses something. Ding Someone ding, lose. ding, we have a loser. <laughs> Ding ding ding! We have a loser. And that's <laughs> he says that if someone oh, loses a game or something, that's what he says. Oh, <laughs> are you trying to say it's Chloe? Hey, sometimes you lose too. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're heading home to go over the receipt. So before we go over the receipt, I do want to say everything that you see right here, including this $50 gift card, would have cost us about $160 before buy one get one free prices, before store coupons and uh, manufacturer coupons, and before rebates. So that is quite a bit of money, but we did not pay near that. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go over this receipt and talk final cost. So you can see right here on my receipt, I believe everything rang up correctly. I didn't notice any um, prices ringing up incorrectly or anything like that. And at Publix, if something does ring up incorrectly, they have the Publix promise where they actually give it to you for free. So that's really awesome. Um, the only thing I didn't show in store is these sweet tarts right here. They were $1.09. I picked those up at the end there because I was a few cents shy of $60 and I wanted to be at $60 because I had a $3 digital coupon for $3 off of a $60 purchase. So I wanted to make sure I was at 60 so that would come off. 
these sweet tarts they said they were 89 cents and i was like well you know i'll go ahead and get those and then um also i have a 10 cent any candy i bought a rebate but um they did bring up 109 so i didn't notice that till afterwards so you know there's that but not a huge huge difference so you can see there after i scanned all my items i scanned that happy gift card there's lots of ones to choose from when I scanned that, um, I just had to have the cashier put in the amount, so I did tell her $50. That way I could use that $10 off coupon because it's $10 off your grocery purchase of $50 or more when you purchase a $50 gift card. So as long as you spend $50 on your purchase before coupons, you're good to go with that coupon. And I do want to say, this is the one that I picked. Um, I kind of did it because we have we have Panera, we have Ulta, Dave and Buster's, we have Barnes and Noble, we have American Eagle. We've never been to Dave and Buster's before. Um, and then Regal, I'm not sure if that's the theater we have or not. I'll have to double check. But the main reason that I got this gift card, one, Chloe's birthday is coming up in August. Her birthday is August 4th. So um, this could come in handy. Also, you know, there's things that she might like at Barnes and Noble and American Eagle. And with back to school clothes and stuff like that coming up at the end of the summer, that may be a good gift card to use because I'm getting $50 worth for less than $50, which we'll go over that here in a minute. And also if you're shopping online or anything, if you go through the Rakuten app, which I do have that link below the video as well, I think they still have their promotion going on where it's spend 30, get 30 back. So if you were doing something like that, plus paying with a gift card, plus if they had any extra cash back for American Eagle or something like that, you could get some clothes for way cheaper. So that's just an idea on that. That's mostly the reason why I got it. So I just wanted to throw that out there. But if you go ahead and look at the rest of my coupons, all the ones that say vendor coupons, though, those are manufacturer coupons. The $2 off Hellman's, that was a store coupon. And then my digital coupons came off just fine. I had the $5, $3, and $1 off of Crest. So it was five off three, three off two, and $1 off one. So those came off and my three off of $60 purchase came off there right at the end. So that got my total down to $57.26. And remember guys, that's including a $50 gift card. So that means that the total for everything else was $7.26. So it'll show you on your receipt at Publix exactly how much you saved. So with store coupons, we save $15. With the manufacturer coupons, we save $38.75. And special price savings like buy one, get one free and sales like that took off $49.04. So total, we saved today $102.79, and that's before any rebates. Now you can see right here, I paid with a Visa gift card. Um, I had $26.29 left on that Visa gift card, so I actually didn't have to pay a whole lot out of my own pocket there. So $26.29 I paid with my Visa gift card that I earned on a previous Publix purchase. But Let's go ahead and talk about final cost here. So, with the gift card, okay, you're looking at, all right, you're paying $57.26. On Ibotta, I got back a total of $15.35 for the rebates. And one thing that I want to say about that, because you know all the rebates that we did, but when I was in the store, I specifically scanned this one to see if it would attach for that rebate for the Splenda Stevia liquid because I was like, well, my store's out of them. They said that they're gonna get a truck tomorrow, or I mean tonight, so that I could check back tomorrow and if they have them, I could then do the deal. So I may check back tomorrow and see if I can do that because I really wanted that $10 moneymaker. But the crazy thing is, is when I submitted to Ibotta, it gave me the two um, rebates for those and then the rebates for those. So I got $2 for each one of these, $2 for each one of these. Then it gave me the Splenda Stevia rebate and it gave me back $2 for each of these, which is really crazy because it showed when I scanned them in the store, like it wasn't attaching, but then it did. So I ended up getting the rebates back on those as well. So that was kind of unexpected. So a total of $15.35 back, which made those a um, $2, was it $2 moneymaker? 
I think. Anyways, <laughs> so there's that. Um, and then I got a $4 bonus because that was one of the uh, bonus rebates I was working on. It was actually like spin, I don't know, do 20 offers, get back $4. And I was almost done with that. I only need four more offers because I did a lot in my, I bought a haul on Tuesday. So with that being said, I got that $4 bonus. So that was a total of $19.35 back on Ibotta. So if you subtract the $19.35 from the $57.26 that we paid, that means that all of these items were completely free and I ended up getting the gift card for just $37.91 for a $50 gift card. So not a bad deal. I'm really happy overall with the transaction. Now, if you were buying everything that I bought except for the gift card right here, after the same coupons I used, your total would have been $17.26. Then you could get back if you got back the same amount on Ibotta. I can't guarantee that that will attach for you, but I thought it was super weird. Like I said, it didn't attach when I scanned the product in the store, but it popped up on my receipt. No problem. So that was really odd. But if you get those same rebates, you're going to get $15.35 back on Ibotta. And if you have a bonus you're working on, like I said, mine was $4.00. So overall, if I had done this without the gift card, I would have got back $19.35 and only spent $17.26, making everything free and a $209 moneymaker. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you are going to do any of these same deals. Like I said, I may try to go back out and get those Splenda, you know, maybe tomorrow. I would have bought more of those if I had realized that they were going to attach, but I had no idea that was going to happen. So overall, just really happy with my haul today. So definitely let me know what you're picking up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.